Hey everyone, it's unexpected mini mail time. We'll start off with this one. It says other electronics components. I know what it is though. This is a little camera module. And the lens is half off. Here we go. So this is, let's see if I've got information on the back. It's the 7670 camera module. I believe it's only either 640. That is some terrible, terrible soldering right over there. Some soldering and some damage to the PCB. That's a shame. There's a couple of places for some resistors. R0, D0. Never used one of these before. I have no idea what's involved. I thought to myself the worst case scenario is I can actually rip the camera off it and do something out with it. I wanted to just have a play and see if I can get any vision out of this camera on one of my microcontrollers. See what's involved. There's stacks of libraries out there for doing this type of stuff. But it's uh, every time I'm looking through AliExpress or eBay, these pop up and I see them and I go, oh, I have no purpose for it so I'm not going to get one. But then I thought, I mean, why not? Let's get one. Let's see what we can do with it. So I look forward to playing with that. Next, we have terminals. Terminals, what could I have bought that's called terminals? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I have no recollection of buying more of these, but I must have. I'll pop through the bag. Okay, well, yes, we all know what they are. 2.54 pitch screw terminals. Not sure I'd use 2.54 pitch ever again on a project, even though I've got hundreds of them now. I think they're just a little bit too flimsy. They twist a little bit when you're screwing them in. I mean, they're sturdy, they work, but they just feel a little flimsy. Anyway, okay. This one is integrated circuit. I wonder what that is. That feels quite chunky inside. Oh, okay. Oh, these are SP8266s, 12Fs. Wow, how many did I buy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 20 ESP 8266s. What am I using these on? Hmm, my Wi Fi clocks. I'm starting to stack up all the parts I need to make my Wi Fi clocks. And they're ESP 12Fs. They actually say 12F on them now. Used to only be able to tell with the antenna. Awesome. Okay, this one is slide switch. I know what this is. These are some more slide switches for my badges or for any future badges I make and I bought a whole bunch of them and they've got wow okay that's exciting I did not order this specifically I'm pretty sure they were white these are oh, they look awesome what a win these are black with a blue switch it's got a little blue side switch I 100% know for a fact that they did not have blue on the choice they had an option of white or black and the black was out of stock and I wanted the black because I had black on my other ones but they sent me blue and blue looks magnificent blue by the way everyone electric blue is my favorite color oh that's a that's a win I might have to quickly go and order a whole bunch more of these anyway lots of slide switches now these are just on off switches surface mount they are for my unexpected maker badges but I have mentioned already I want to make another badge I'm not sure what it's going to be yet but I'm going to use these on off switches for because they're excellent I have two more packages. I'm going to open this one first. This is from, from Christos, from Greece. So this is not something I bought. This is something he sent me, but it's not a finished product. This is just a bunch of stuff to go with some of my parts. Okay. It's a project of his that he's working on, and I'm going to help him with some of the code for it. Is he's a hardware guy and not really a software guy. So this is, obviously these are all LCSC labels. He just reuses the bags. So this is a charge UPS shield that he's working on, which looks pretty cool. And the shield itself has, you know what, I'm not even 100% sure how it all works. There's another part to the shield. It's got a place for a, a nano and it's got a uh, RTC and a battery backup for it and here's a bunch of other whoa should have done that slowly wow he sent me headers 
and there's a screen, this is the screen he's using, it's I2C and standoffs and all sorts of stuff and a potentiometer no, it's a rotary dial I believe yep, it's a rotary dial, oh nice, too. okay, so and then obviously I need to provide my own nano so what this board actually does, I'm not 100% sure, it's a, it's a charge slash UPS battery backup board for obviously uh, uh, any type of Arduino, but in a, an Uno form factor. And the screen attaches to it somewhere, and there's a dial to control it, and then basically there's some code that he needs to run to actually to show a fuel gauge and some other things for the batteries and, and the charge state. And so I'm going to assemble all of this. He's going to have one on his end, and I'm going to help him with the code. And so I needed all the parts to make sure that I could actually simulate what he's got on his side. So he sent me everything. And this is going to be a mess to clean up. I should have looked what was in the bag first. I might just move this over. Put it all over here for now. I'll clean it up later because I have one more package left. And this one is an interesting one. So this says expansion board module, expansion board module. It's quite big. I know what's inside. I think I'm going to freak a few people out with this. And you're going to ask me, why have I got this? Well, it's an interesting story for another time. I have got... I bought myself... Can anyone guess from that? Anyone, anyone, anyone? This is... Wow, packaging and packaging and packaging. I know, I'm crazy to have bought this. This is a, a pick kit to programmer. Never had one. Why do I need one? I've never mentioned pick processors ever in my life, have I? No, I play with the SAMD processors, I play with the ESP processors, even just standard at mega stuff. Never touched a PIC processor, I don't even have one in my hand right now, but I'm going to need this for something I'm working on. Wow, look at that. Nice bent pin. Is everything that comes bent, that's okay. So obviously we've got a zero insertion socket here to help with programming ICs that are through hole. And of course I can stick an adapter of mine in here like I do for my um, AT Tinies, my SOP 8s, so I can program surface mount. I need this for a project that I'm working on. I'm actually not going to tell you what this is yet. This is not, it's not top secret, but I'm not ready to spill the beans yet. I have a bit more work to do, but I need this for the project. So anyway, that's it folks. That's my mail. This is going to be super cool to play with. I'm not expecting great vision results out of it because it's a pretty crappy camera and it's got no focus ability, but that's okay. I want to see what I can get out of it and uh, maybe my Adafruit M4 board is going to be a good candidate for getting some super fast vision out of this or an ESP32. Yeah, excited to play with it. Thanks for watching everyone. It's time for everyone else to go spend some money and go shopping. I can't be the only one that keeps buying stuff. I will catch you all next time. Bye.